is going on everybody rakir varger back with another episode of runescape in this one we are going to be doing gertrude's cat so with this one we need to talk to gertrude in our house west of varrock so if we go ahead and pull up our map here we are going to see that varrock is located here here is the lodestone for varrock so if you just kind of walk around here you're going to be right there if you're at the grand exchange you're just going to go south of the grand exchange and it's just going to be located in this house that's right here to the east of the air altar. This is a fifth age quest, so we're definitely going to do it. Like I said previously, we will be doing all fifth age quests. Any sixth age quests, we will not be doing. If it's ambiguous, we'll also be doing it. Our required items are going to be a bucket of milk, a raw sardine, and some dodgy leaves, which we can get right behind the house and 100 coins so we are going to be starting this one by talking to gertrude wow okay she's just right there in front of us hello are you okay do i look okay those kids drive me crazy i'm sorry it's just that i've lost her lost whom fluffs poor fluffs she never hurt anyone who's fluffs my beloved feline friend fluffs She's been purring by my side for almost a decade. Please, could you go and search for her while I take care of the children? What's in it for me? I'm sorry. I'm too poor to pay you anything. The best I could do offer, could offer, is a warm meal. So, could you help? Just a meal? It's not the best offer I've had, but I suppose I could help. I suppose I could give you some nice yummy chocolate cake. Maybe even a kitten too. If you seem like a nice sort, is that something you could be persuaded with? Of course it can. We're definitely going to accept. I can't leave the poor cat all by itself. Well, I suppose I could, though. I'd need more details. Really? Thank you so much. I really have no idea where she could be. I think, I think my sons, Shillop and Willow saw the cat last they'll be out in the marketplace the marketplace which one would that be it would help to know what they get up to as well really well generally i let them do what they want so i have no idea exactly what they would be doing they are good lads though i'm sure they are just watching the passers passerbys in varrock marketplace oh to be young and carefree again all right then, I'll see what I can do. Two young lads in Varrock Marketplace. I can only hope that there's no school trip passing through when I arrive. <laughs> All right. So before we head on over to the Marketplace, we're gonna go right behind the building. And as you can see, we got the Dodgy Leaf. Dougal, Dougal, I don't know why I keep calling them Dodgy, they're Dougal. We got the Dougal leaves back here. They are worth nothing, so there's really no point in picking them up. So we are going to head on over to the marketplace and see if we can't find any children and hopefully there's not a field trip going on because we will never be able to find them. As we head over there, you can see that I have changed my armor. So I've reached level 30 defense in this last one and so I figured it was time we actually upgrade. I got the armor from the magic shop in Port Serum. And it is the highest level magic armor that they sell there. So I figured it was time to upgrade. Unfortunately, we I don't really prefer wands. For the simple fact of most stabs give you some sort of element. But wands don't. So you go through a lot more runes if you use a wand. But... As a free member, we have absolutely no choice in the matter because they don't give us an option to get a better staff until you get to members. So this is the new digs. I am really liking the wand. Uh, we got ourselves a book, which is supposed to increase our accuracy with magic. So it's pretty nice. I mean, it's definitely an upgrade. We got ourselves a full Batwing armor set. As you can see, they are all level 30, so it is a pretty good upgrade. Plus, you know, it still kind of matches the look that I've been going. More purple than blue, but you still got some blues in there. Or light purples, not really too sure. Um, 
I'm gonna, yeah, these are the two. Look at, he's got an S on his shirt to just tell us who they are. That is awesome. All right, so we're gonna talk to the kids real quick. That's not the one I wanted to talk to, but that's okay. Hello there, I've been looking for you and it's important. I didn't, I didn't mean to take it. I just forgot to pay. What? I'm trying to help your mom find some cat called Fluffs. Oh, well, in that case, I might be able to help. Fluffs followed me to my super secret hideout. I haven't seen her since she's probably off. I haven't seen her since. She's probably off eating small creatures somewhere. Where is this secret hideout? I really need to find that cat to your... Find that cat for your mom. I told you that. It wouldn't... If I told you that, it wouldn't be a secret. What if I need to escape from the law? I need a hideout. From my limited knowledge of the law, they are not usually involved in manhunts for children. Well, it's still mine anyway. I need a place to be alone sometimes. Those two little brothers at the house are such babies. Tell me, Sonny, or I will inform your mom you are a criminal. What? 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 You, you wouldn't. Anyway, I'll deny it all and she'll be sure to believe me over some wandering killer like you. I am an upstanding citizen. I'm her darling boy, and you'd have to forget about her rewarding you. Pop it, snitch. Pop it, snitch. I don't get that. You decide it's best not to aggravate the repulsive boy anymore. What will make you tell me? Well, now you ask, I am a bit short on cash. How much? Ten coins. Ten coins? I'll handle this. 100 coins should cover it. 100 coins? What sort of expensive things do you need that badly? Well, I don't like chocolate and I have seen how much sweets cost to buy. Why should I pay you then? You can answer that as, e that as easily. Obviously, you shouldn't pay that much, but I won't help otherwise. I never liked that cat anyway, fussy, scratchy thing it is. So what do you say? Okay then, I'll pay, but I'll want you to tell your mother what a nice person I am. What? I want you to tell your mother what a nice person I am so she rewards me for this search. It's a deal. You give the lad 100 coins. There you go. Now, where do you see, where did you see Fluffs? We hide out at the lumber mill to the northeast, just behind the Jolly Boar Inn. I saw Fluffs running around in there. Well, not so much running as floating lazily, but you get the idea. Anything else? Well, technically you are trespassing inside there, but no one seems to care. You'll have to find the broken fence to get in. It will be a bit of a squeeze for a grown-up, but I'm sure you can manage that. Alright, so we are going to head on over to the uh, lumber mill, lumber yard, to the east of Boar Inn, which this here is Boar Inn, so it's just right here. We're going to head on over there, which is going to be east of our current location. Gonna run on over here. And as we head on over there, now is actually a great time to be sure to scroll down, like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on that notification bell and let me know in the comments below what you think. I decided to do a female voice, and yeah, I'm not very good at that, obviously. And I'm trying to change up my voice for each character, but I don't really have a ton of voices that I could do to do that. So, yeah, I'm not making a fool of myself, but that's all right. Uh, so right here, we're going to squeeze under the fence. And he did that without even trying. That was okay. Now we just need to look for the cat. And the cat is going to be... This thing's... Oh, that's trippy. Ah, uh, these are Bill. Bill. Oof. <laughs> ah, there we go. There's Fluffs. We're gonna go pick up Fluffs so we can take her home. Hiss. Ouch. Fluffs hisses, but clearly wants something. Maybe she's thirsty. Well, we got some milk. Let's give her some milk. Progress, at least. 
Plus laps up the milk greedily. Then she meows at you again. Fluffs hisses but clearly wants something. Maybe she is hungry too. Maybe Gertrude knows what her cat likes to eat. Alright, so we need to head back to Gertrude and see what the cat likes. Let's head on back over to Gertrude and... See what she has to say about Fluffs hissing at us. Which is very rude, might I say. Alright, sorry about that. I uh, had to sneeze, so I muted my mic real quick. Sneeze, unfortunately, did not come out. So I am now stuck with feeling like I need to sneeze, but it, it refuses. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It sucks. Alright. We're almost back over to Gertrude's. Now, I do gotta say that you don't have to go back to Gertrude's. If you just do what she says, you can do it all right then and there, which will save you some time. But I'm just showing you guys what it would be like as if you didn't know what you're actually supposed to do. So here we are back at Longer at Gertrude's, and she's still standing at the door. Hello again. Hello. How's it going? Any luck? Yes, I found Fluffs. Well, well, you are clever. Did you bring her back? Well, that's the thing. She refuses to leave. Oh dear, oh dear. Maybe she's just hungry. She loves Google sardines, but I'm all out. Google sardines? Yes, raw sardine seasoned with Dougal leaves. Unfortunately, I've used all my Dougal leaves, but you may find some on the bush out back. So that's why we picked up the Dougal leaves. So we can head on back. So all you do is you use the Dougal leaves on the sardine. You rub the Dougal leaves over the sardine. And now we have Dougal sardine. Now we just need to head on back over to Fluffs. And we need to see if that will entice Fluffs to come back home. And as I say that, the, the cat jumps up on the bed and just stares at me like, Are you cheating on me with another cat? How dare you? What is wrong with you? This is the only thing that makes this quest somewhat long, is if you don't know about the Dougal leaves and the sardine, it takes a while to get them. So I've decided that I'm going to look up what all the required items are before the quest and then after the, um, but before I start it, I don't know what I was going with after. And then before I start, I'll have all the items already ready to go and I'll be sure to tell you every item that you need as well so it can save you guys some time. So we'll just use the Dougal leaves on fluffs. Progress at least. Plus de Fluffs devours the Dougal sardine greedily. Then me she meows at you again. Fluffs seems afraid to leave. In the lumber yard, you be below, you can hear kittens meowing. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be an O in meowing. Because that's like me wing. You can hear kittens below. Uh, you can hear kittens me wing. <laughs> all right so there's kittens here so maybe that's why she won't leave so we just need to search around for some kittens find nothing you can hear kittens mewing oh mewing instead of meowing because they're kittens they mew ah. no Nope. Nope. Symbols on those. Oh, that one's moving. A jiggling crate. Ah, there they are. 
You find three little kittens. You carefully place them in your backpack. This explains why Fluff is so agitated. Let's go back to Fluff. Maybe Fluff will be happier now that we fed her. We gave her a drink and we found her kitten. Oh, so cute. Bluffs has run off home with her offspring. Alright, so we just need to head on back to Gertrude. And Bluffs should be waiting there. Hopefully they made it home safely. Her and her kittens. So she came to the lumber yard to have her kittens but then couldn't leave without them because they got stuck in a box. I'm confused how they even got in the box to begin with. And they seem pretty grown too, like big enough to like move around. I don't know. Seems weird. I must have been missing for quite some time. You know, this uh, quest actually reminds me a lot of Naruto in the very beginning when they have to go on their missions to rescue the cats and all of that stuff, which I thought was just so funny. And that just, just brings back so much memories. We've been uh, re-watching all of Naruto recently, and we've just finished it. I've watched it multiple times. And now we're getting into watching uh, Boruto. And I don't know how I feel about it so far. We're only like two episodes in, but... I, I, I love this series so much that I just kind of keep wanting to do it. Let's talk to Gertrude. Hello, Gertrude. Bluffs had run off with her kittens, lost them. I have now returned them to her. Thank you. If you hadn't found her kittens, then they would have died out there. I've got some presents for you, and thanks for your help. That's okay. I like to do my bit. You're a liar. You literally told the kids to give her give you good praise to her so you can get a, a reward and now you're just like I did it out of the goodness of my heart I have no real material possessions but I do have kittens I've cooked you some food too you're going to give me a kitten thanks I would sell one to my cousin in West Adrun I hear there's a rat epidemic there but it's too far for me to travel what with my boys and all oh by the way, the kitten can live in your backpack, but to ensure it grows, you must take it out, feed it, and stroke it often. Woo, there we go. Another quest in the books. So we did complete Gertrude's cat. We got one quest point. We got a lot of cooking experience. Wow, we're going to get a few levels off of that. We got a chocolate cake, a bowl of stew, a kitten with an exclamation point. I don't know what's with the uh, parentheses around that. It's kind of weird. And we have the ability to raise cats now. So that's pretty cool. So that is Gertrude's cat right there. There's uh, not a whole lot to it. But it does play a huge factor in some quests going down the line. You will need a cat or a kitten. You'll actually need a cat later down the road once we hit members so i in the next couple videos and stuff like that you will see the kitten follow me around until it's fully grown so i'll have to keep food in my inventory at all times until it is fully grown but i would like to thank everybody for stopping in and showing your love to the channel we have reached 20 subscribers and i am ecstatic like i Honestly, truly did not believe that it would go very far. I was just kind of, I'm just kind of doing this because I enjoy the game and, you know, I just want to share that with others. So that's really the main reason why I'm doing this. And, you know, you guys stopping in and commenting and liking the video and just watching it really means a lot to me. And so I want to thank you guys all so much, um, especially to a couple of friends of mine, I would like to say. Um, Aussie Roo, um, whenever you get on next, I really appreciate that 10 mil that you said you would offer me. It means a hell of a lot. And JJ Moon with all the comments and suggestions and everything, it means a lot. So thank you both. And 
Now we are going to go to the montage. I hope you enjoy. All right, quick break. I forgot to use the XP lamp, so I just used it now. And we got seven levels from that. That is just insane. Just for completing one quest. That's why they always suggest doing quests instead of just grinding levels because you can get a lot of levels from questing. But yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and we are going to head on over to the montage. didn't go and sell my items because all I did was make a couple hundred uh, bronze arrows. But I figured I would save up. I did not make all of them yet. I've only made like 930 out of like the 4,000 that I had. So I believe at the end we're going to do that. Plus I mainly focused on getting our levels. As you can see we got a lot of levels in this one. We got mining, smithing, fletching, wood cutting, and fire making. I feel like we made a huge amount of progress in this one, and I want to thank you all for watching, and be sure to tune in next time to see how it goes.